I am in the process of making a five layer cake for my son's um, Boy Scout celebration tonight. He is moving up in rank to star and that's a five layer cake. So um, I came up with a recipe that is really simple. Uh, you just follow the directions on the Ghirardelli triple chocolate brownie mix from Costco. There are six bags in there so if you make up five of the bags and put each one of them in a... Uh, I actually ran out of cake pans so I also used a pie plate which is about the same size um, and then uh, put parchment paper in the bottom so that they are come out beautifully and you can stack them really well um, and then the we're making a Reese's cake so I'm going to actually decorate the top with a star made out of Reese's pieces and so um, I kind of made up my own recipe uh, with the frosting it's one cup of heavy whipping cream um, a full jar of creamy peanut butter, which this one happens to be three cups of peanut butter, and then four cups of powdered sugar, and two sticks of butter. We like butter. <laughs> so there are lots of variations of that online. I think this one tastes delicious, but you can change those ratios however you'd like, and a little dash of vanilla extract if you'd like. I didn't do that, but you certainly could. Um, and then what I did is I mixed the peanut butter with the room temperature butter first until it was smooth with a, an electric mixer. And then I added the powdered sugar slowly and incorporated that. And um, that seemed to work really well. And then at the end I added the whipping cream and I just kept whipping it. And now it's light and fluffy and there are no lumps. So it took about five minutes to put all the layers together. Um, something I love about using brownie mix instead of cake is that there are very few crumbs and it's very stable. Um, if this were summer or warmer conditions, you definitely would want to use a little uh, wooden dowel or paper dowel through the center, maybe even three, to keep it in place because it is such a soft, wonderful um, cream that you have for the filling. It might go every which way. Um, this is probably the tallest cake I've ever uh, attempted to frost. I have lots of frosting left, so I'm really excited. Um, going to actually frost the sides as well um, hoping that the you know the brownie on the outside softens up a little bit it's actually it needs some moisture um, those edges around the pie pan um, my I had one pie pan that was larger so I did have to cut that brownie down one down there at the bottom and that was easy to do and just set another one on top of it and just take a, a knife and, and cut around quickly um, the other thing uh, I would like to warn you about is please put some frosting uh, between your bottom cake layer and your plate. Um, that will definitely help things as well. So the decorating is done. Uh, we had just enough icing to go all the way around. Um, we, you definitely could have smoothed out the icing more. You could have really taken some time with that, but I wanted to leave it a little rough so that I could stick all of the Reese's pieces on it. Um, my son's new rank will be star, so that's why we have the star on the cake. And actually, as this frosting sets, it's really fantastic to work with. Really exciting. Like, you could really make it nice and smooth and do all kinds of fancy things with it. Um, to get the right ratio of the colors in the Reese's pieces, I was, um, luckily I bought two four-ounce boxes. I don't know if you can see this. It's what they happen to have on the shelf. So eight ounces of Reese's pieces to give you enough to really play with the different colors. Um, obviously, weather permitting, um, the little candies that I have stuck to the sides, if you know if it's 90 degrees in the summer and you don't have a place that's cool to keep it, those probably won't stay in place. Just something to think Thanks about. Thanks so much for watching. This was actually a really fun project. And this is definitely a brownie cake that, you know, it's, it's for people who don't have a lot of time. <laughs> like, I love to bake, I love to do everything from scratch, but honestly, Ghirardelli's triple chocolate brownie mix from Costco. You can't go wrong. In an hour, it's baked, it's done. You can prepare those the day before and then decorate the cake within an hour. Hi everyone! Uh, just got back from Riley's Boy Scout uh, celebration and uh, the cake was a success. Uh, it didn't slide, it stayed right where it should have in place, and I always um, do these videos and then I, there are some afterthoughts, things that I wanted to share with you that I usually don't get to follow through with. So I wanted to share, uh, because my kitchen was so cold, that no matter how much I beat the butter with the peanut butter, it never fully got uh, incorporated. So you may have seen little tiny pieces of butter that were hard, chilled because it was cold. Do try to bring your butter down to room temperature before you mix it with the peanut butter. Um, you know, I, 
I just thought it would eventually incorporate. It didn't. Um, it wasn't a big deal. Everybody loves butter, but you could definitely see the little pieces of butter. And I did whip that for quite a while. So, you know, warm up the toaster oven or something. Get something warm enough to where you're going to have your butter at room temperature if it's if it's cold out. Uh, the other thing is because there were five layers, and you could actually make that as many layers as you needed to, um, I can't imagine it would have been easy to cut through all of those layers of brownie to make thin enough slices to serve to several dozen people. And so we had kind of decided ahead of time for my son to be able to just cut it by layer. So, you know, cut a generous wedge out of the top layer, just through the top layer, and serve it, and serve all the way around the top layer, and then cut through the second layer and serve it all the way around, and it went beautifully. And the ratio of frosting with the brownie, the frosting stayed on the top of the bottom brownie like it should have and it was just this beautiful little piece of cake for everybody um, and I think because specifically it's this icing with the peanut butter in it it stuck to that bottom layer beautifully so if you have to serve it to a lot of people and you don't want to try to get really thin slices because there's there are a ton of um, chocolate chunks in that specific recipe from Ghirardelli um, that is what we did and it worked out beautifully um, and there were a couple of other things that I thought of on the way home, but it's late at night and it's time to clean the kitchen. So I'm going to do that and I appreciate all of you so much. It has been a long time since I've posted a video and I have a lot of videos to share and not enough time in the day. So I love you all for watching. Thank you so much. Have a beautiful day.